I knew there were going to be repercussions for myself, for John and for the organization. But I thought I had no other choice. He put me in a really difficult position. Tomorrow morning at 10, we've got a meeting with the funding agency. We've been waiting on a decision for them to see if they'll fund the project in Tanzania. I thought they should have made a decision by now. I mean, what's the hold up? I'm not really sure. Enough about work. Plenty of time for that tomorrow. Do you want to go eat at the hotel or go somewhere else? You two go ahead and go on to the hotel. I'll see you for breakfast. What? Can you take me to Shoreditch Road? It's only a few minutes out of the way. I mean, are, are you meeting someone? Like, who do you know in this town? After the next right, take the second left, and you can drop me anywhere. Doesn't matter who I'm meeting. See you in the morning. When you guys get back to the hotel, take my bags to my room. Night. Where's he going? You know what John's like? He's got contacts everywhere. He's meeting a girl. Hey, listen, lighten up. We're all adults here. It was one of the most difficult things I've done in my life, reporting John for what he did. But the reason that I got involved in this work is because of its commitments to human rights, equality, and justice. And I really believe in those. In my books, exploiting women is not right. Your values do not stop after work in the evening. I didn't report John immediately because I was concerned about the consequences for me 